Hi, it's Rob from Brush and Bulkham. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint a Legion of the Damned Space Marine. If you'd like to support the channel, our coffee and Patreon page is linked below. Now onto the video. First colour we're going to use on this guy is Citadel Rakarth Flesh. I'm going to use this to do all the bone sections on him. So there's just the helm at the moment, but we're going to freehand some bones and things like that and a skull on his shoulder. So I'll be showing this part briefly and then there'll be a video separate to that which I'll link up once it's gone on. So as long as you're painting all of those bones with Rakarth flesh to your base you can't go wrong. Next up we're going to use Citadel Rhinox Hide. I'm going to use this to do all of the pouches and his belt. After this, I did just want to paint a Legion of the Damned one after painting the Firehawks guy a couple of months ago. So this is kind of the follow-on to that, so I'll tag that too. I'm going to use Citadel Lead Belcher just to paint the sections of his bolt rifle and also sections of his power pack. Where we're going to have that, like the exhausts and that kind of thing. Hoping to bring out some new miniatures for the Legion of the Damned because I really do think they're very cool looking miniatures, the ones they have. But if you wanted to freehand your own and paint them up, then this is something you can do quite easy. I'm going to start working on the flames, so we're going to start with a base of Citadel Avalon Sunset. This is also going to be a video of doing separate flames, because you have things like that on the Salamanders as well as the Legion of the Dam and some other different chapters both chaos and space marines so i thought it'd be a good video to do separate where you can see him doing the kind of s shapes and reverse s shapes just to get those flame patterns on the shoulder pad i'm going to use some vallejo black this is just going to be to paint on the eyes so it means that when we've shaded all the free handy bits, you've got something to work on as to where you're putting the highlights and things like that. Now the eyes aren't perfect, the nose won't be perfect, but this is the first stage in painting them. And we do tidy that up as we go along. I'm just going to use a little bit of Citadel on my fist on red just to do his eyes. Like so. I'm going to start with the shades now. I'm going to start with Citadel Drucci Violet. I'm just going to do those eye lenses and the scope lens on his bolt rifle. Nice quick layer to do there. The next shade is going to be Citadel Seraphim Sepia. You're going to use this on all of the bone. So wherever you've painted those skeleton bones on his feet or hands or arms, legs, just give all of them a wash with Seraphim Sepia. That'll darken them down. It'll mean you've got the darker layer for when we start highlighting those and painting those up again. Now I'm going to use Citadel Fugan Orange. I'm going to use this to start painting the colour onto the flames. As I say, there will be a flames video separate for this. I'll show a bit more of the start to finish process, just that, without any interruptions of other sections on the miniature. We're basically using the Fugan Orange just to add the orange colour to the kind of top and middle of the flames. You don't have to be 100% accurate in there, because you would have the little bits of yellow running through it. I'm 
We use Citadel Carrow Bird Crimson to do the darker part of the flames. So this is the very top kind of third of it. As I say, you remember the, the first Legion of the Dam stuff coming out years and years and years ago now. I just thought they had a really, really great aesthetic to them with the, the bones and the flames and then all the stories that go with them. So although they probably wouldn't have intercessors because they're not really getting new kit, I still wanted to do one. So we're going to be using Citadel Nuln Oil to shade all of the lead belcher sections. This will just dull that down, give it that kind of more grim look to it. I don't really want these to be too bright and shiny because obviously they're dressed in black, they're meant to be a bit sinister. You also want to use the Nuln Oil on the Rhinox Hide too, just to give that a really dark shade. So I'm using a white background now, because I think the colour is helped a little bit by that. So we're going to be using Citadel Uriel Yellow. And we're just going to put a final layer on the base of all the flame sections. We're also going to be using this to do little runs of yellow flame going up into the taller sections too. Let's just break up the lines so that they aren't just a red stopping dead, then the orange, then stopping dead, and then the yellow. So now we're starting to work on the bone again. We're going to use Citadel Rakarth Flesh. And even though it's flat on there, you're going to think about where you're going to be putting the highlights on this. So where the lumps and bumps usually are in bones, you want to be highlighting those areas and leaving the shaded sections where there would be a recess. So if you're not sure on this, have a look online for diagrams of skeletons and what have you. It'll show you pretty accurately where you can put the shades or keep the shades in these sections. Now we're going to mix in a little bit of Citadel Ushabti Bone. I'm going to use this to highlight the sections we've just returned the Rakarth Flesh to. So maybe do about 50% of the Rakarth Flesh sections with this. Making sure you leave the shaded sections as they are. Like so. Finally, we're going to mix a little bit of white with the previous mix. We're just going to highlight those skeleton sections. We are going to come back with a bit of Vallejo Black and we're going to tidy up the edges to these bone sections just to make sure they're nice and smooth. I'm also going to use this on the faceplate too, the skeletal faceplate. So now we're going to be using Vallejo Black. We're going to be using this to do around all the flames and also around all the bone sections just to make sure they're really neat and really smooth. Light one a bit of a funky colour here but you can see exactly what's going on so it's not too bad. I'm going to start working on the armour, so we're going to go into Vallejo German Grey. I'm just going to highlight the top kind of half of the armour. So where the armour plates are on the arm, if it's horizontal, you're going to be doing the top half of that forearm. When you're looking at the other sections, think about where there's going to be shadows cast and where it's going to be highlighted and where the light's going to catch it. And highlight those areas and try not to highlight sort of like under the legs or under the arms, because they really wouldn't catch that much light. It's just an easy little way of making it look like the light is coming from above. 
Next up, we're going to be using Citadel Mechanica Standard Grey. We're just going to be highlighting the very edges and the tips of everything. So just your standard edge highlight for this. Think about where the light's going to be catching it and from which angles. Just go with that. This just makes all those edges stand out on the dark grey and the black sections. Gives it that little bit extra detail. Now we're going to use a little bit of Vallejo White. I'm going to mix this with the previous mix of the bone. The reason I'm doing this is I wasn't too happy with the final highlight of it. it didn't make it quite as bright as I'd like it to. So I'm just going to use a little tiny bit of this. Go over all the skeleton sections just to give them one final little highlight. And we can call those bone sections done. Next colour is going to be Citadel Rhinox Hide. I'm going to use this to reapply some colour to those pouches in the holster. If you want to do these lighter brown, I will link up the leather pouches video here. That gives it with a more unfanged brown pouch so it's a little bit lighter and stands out a bit more. I want to try and keep these really dark so that they all look quite sinister. They didn't have any bright sections standing out, which I thought the more unfanged brown might do. Now I'm going to use a tiny little bit of Citadel Rackarth Flesh, mix that with the Rhinox Hide and do the first highlight for the pouches. We're doing it horizontal on the vertical sections, vertically on the horizontal sections. And this is just to give them that rough edge that looks like the leather on these pouches now has been scuffed. I'm going to do a final layer on the pouches by adding more Rakarth flesh to the previous mix. And then doing exactly what we've just done, but on a smaller scale now so that you can still see that previous layer around the edges and on those pouches. Now I'm going to use some Citadel my fist on red. I'm going to start working on his eyes. So we're going to reapply colour to about the back two-thirds of the lenses. Because this isn't an intercessor helmet, it's one of the Reavers helmets, I think it is. The lenses are slightly different from usual, so I'm just going to paint them in sections rather than having that curve going underneath because they're a bit narrower. So we're going to add a little bit of Vallejo White to the fist on red. And we're just going to do maybe the back third of the lens with this. Also added a little crescent on the bottom left of the lens there on the rifle, so I will show the link to the video of doing lenses in a moment. So we've added more white to the previous mix. We are now just adding a little section of this really, really kind of light pink to the back of the eye. And then finally, we're going to use some pure Vallejo white just to put some little white spots, one on the front of each lens. And I'm going to put two on the lens of the bolt rifle. And that is the finished Legion of the Dam Marine. Really happy with how he turned out for a Smooth standard intercessor, I'm quite pleased with the flames and the skeleton effects on him. But happy with how he turned out. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much. If you like the channel and you enjoy the content and you'd like to support us, 
our coffee and patreon pages are linked below thanks very much